Hey guys, Andre here. Welcome to another episode. On our recent trip to Miami, Taylor and I had an opportunity to check out a cool Airbnb in Miami's design district. We had a very comfortable stay and decided to give you a tour of the space. The tour had a number of floor plans available, so we're going to show you one of our favorites. Also, if you're an Airbnb operator looking to enhance your space or you're a homeowner looking for a little design inspiration, keep watching. Alright guys, welcome to Residence 302, or I should say Suite 302, and this is actually the unit we're staying in. It's a very um, comfortable and spacious home. It's actually one of their larger floor plans. It has two giant bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms. So I'm excited to show it to you. Real quick, before I start the tour, I should mention that the locks are actually by Yale Electronic Locks. Uh, you get a custom code, and this is how you enter the home. Should you ever get locked out, the property manager or the owner can actually let you in remotely, which is a really, really convenient feature to have. Cool kitchen, it's modern, it's clean, quartz counters, electric cooktop, I mean, it's got a dishwasher, it's got a fridge. Taylor, what do you think? I love it, it makes it easy, like convenient. To super, be here. super convenient. It feels like a home, right? Yeah. You can actually make, and these do lock uh, automatically, which is a nice uh, safety feature. The plus room in the kitchen is a half bath, very spacious. It's got a stackable washer and dryer, which is so nice to have. Mm -hmm. We've for, been doing laundry. Yes, we've done laundry. We've been here for about what, three days, and we've done laundry twice. Yeah. It's yeah. nice. It's very nice. You gotta have a. It feels like home. It does feel like a home. Yeah. Exactly. Awesome size living room, great ceiling height. Notice you have exposed concrete at the ceiling, which is really, really nice. And I really like the setup, right? You have a couch, you have two accent chairs, a little coffee table. Right over here, you have a dining room table with you know, these cool, vibrant chairs. You have this phone call here, and this actually wall covering. Um, it's printed, and I think it looks awesome. Yeah, adds, adds um, something to the room. Yeah, it brightens it up. Yeah, it makes it fun. It's very cohesive with you know the design and this trick. I'm into it. Now let's check out the bedroom. So this is the first bedroom. It's giant. It's got a king size bed, right? I think this is king size. It is king size. Yes, king size bed, very comfortable mattress. And notice it's a simple white wall, right? But notice what they did with it. They did this, it's, I don't think it's a vinyl, it's yeah. actually just paint. It is? Yeah, it's just paint. Wow. They, they uh, ma used the masking tape around, they painted this area, and then the rest they just left white. I like it. <laughs> I know, it's so simple and very clever. Yeah. Right over here is a nice desk. We did some editing over here. I had my whole setup here with you know, the camera and gear. It's kind of my charging station, workstation, nice lamp. Incredible closet space. And by the way, this is perfect for when you're getting ready. You have the mirror in the end. Uh, for an outfit check. <laughs> exactly. It's almost like a, you build a fashion show over here. Yes. So, the bathroom. Nice oversized shower, floating vanity, and LED mirror. Really, really nice. Yeah. And they, and they supply a bunch of the bathroom stuff in case you forget this. They do. Lotions, nice. shampoos, stuff like that. And how's the water pressure? Great. It's good. Solid it's water good pressure. pressure yeah. And now let's go see the second bedroom. And guys, this bedroom is just as large. Taylor, careful. Yeah, I got it. Okay. okay. No one saw. No one saw. I saw. <laughs> um, good size bedroom, right? You have two queen size beds. Again, giant room, great natural light, cool artwork, comfortable beds. You have a TV, you have yet another desk right over there. And then let me show you the closet space. Again, closets, closets, closets. You have a cool barn door right over here. And then your bathroom is pretty much actually identical to the one we just showed you. And this sums up the tour of the two bedroom floor plan. I hope you guys liked it.
guys, this is unit 301. It's another two bedroom floor plan. Um, figured, why don't we walk through, show you this slightly more spacious two bedroom uh, option uh, when you're booking. You know, it's got a slightly different vibe, uh, slightly different color palette. It is a corner unit. Again, lots of natural light, super cool vibe. Notice uh, in this one, you have the same cool uh, graphic, custom printed vinyl wall, uh, wallpapered wall. That was, that, was, that, was a, that was a big term right there. Um, Speaking's hard. <laughs> yeah, very vibrant, very cool. I love the gray section. Oh, I love this pastel rug. It looks cool. Taylor? Love the pink love rug. Nice, love, right? I love the pink axe. This is like the pink room. We should name this the pink room. The pink room. Right over here is your dining room. Very nice. You've got this entire wall of windows that runs all the way around. Very nice. You have this open concept kitchen. White quartz counters. Looks really, really nice. You have a nice pantry right there, dishwasher. You know, everything, uh, everything that the other two bedroom unit had. But better, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, it's just larger. Yeah, it's nicer. Feels a little more open, so if you have a larger party and you're traveling, maybe you have a giant family or a large group of friends, this is also another great option. Let me show you the first bedroom. Here's the first bedroom. I like how they continue the color palette into the rooms. Very nice, you have that beautiful shade of pink with gray rug, gray queen size bed, floating nightstands. All right, second bedroom. And this one is a suite. Giant size. King size bed, a nice workstation there in the corner. Again, great natural light, and you actually have enough space for. It's not a love seat; it's like a small couch, right? It's a sofa, yeah. It's a sofa. A pink sofa. A pink sofa. And Any money? Any money under the, under the cushions? <laughs> no, there's no money, but um, <laughs> but it is um, it is a sleeper sofa. Oh, it has a pull-up bed. It's got a pull-up bed, the whole thing. And then I know I haven't mentioned or I haven't said anything about the floors in any of the units, but it is a really good quality luxury vinyl plank. It's great, it's modern, it looks cool. It's actually maintenance free. So if you're an Airbnb operator, you should consider those because they work really well. Yeah, this one definitely feels like a larger floor plan. So if you're traveling in large groups, you should definitely consider unit 301. And this is unit 210, and this is actually a very cute unit. Actually, one of our favorites. So you, as soon as you walk in, you have this cute uh, living room, TV, really nice focal wall, you have a couch, uh, a coffee table with a nice rug. They've got this blue color palette going on, which we really like. Um, and then you have this oversized window that actually overlooks uh, a very delicious Italian seafood restaurant, which we went to. It was amazing. Yeah. Wine is really good there too. Amazing, it's like a hidden gem. It's right outside your door. Uh, this one does have a washer and a dryer that's actually in a single unit. Let me show you real quick. This is it. It's all in one unit. It's a washer and a dryer, which is hard to figure out at first, but <laughs> just Google it. Yeah, and speaking of, you know, figuring things out, what I love about these guys is that they actually have uh, a laminated um, guest manual. So if you have any questions, it's all in there. And just like in the other units, I really appreciate what they've done with paint on this wall. This is not a wall covering, this is simply um, the way they painted this wall. They created this really cool pattern. Notice they actually worked, um, they painted it around the shelf, right? So they designed it with the shelf in mind, with the TV in mind, everything. It kind of creates depth. Very cost effective option. So if again, if you have an Airbnb unit or if you are into interior design, give it a try. You can do something really, really cool and fun with paint. And here's our kitchen. Not the biggest kitchen, but I think it's perfect for the size of this unit. Great counters, uh, quartz counters, coffee maker, basically everything you saw in the other units. Now, what I appreciate about this unit is how much closet space this one has. If you're renting it as a short-term rental, maybe say for a month or two, 
This is actually impressive. You have drawers, you have uh, rack space, you have shelf space right here. So uh, it's really, really nice to have. And right over here is our bedroom. Very generous size. This is a corner unit. I'm sorry, this is a corner bedroom. So you have windows on every wall. Very, very nice king size bed, floating nightstands. And this is simple. Very simple, right? Super simple. I like how the wall behind the bed too. It's awesome. And here they went with shades of blue and shades of gray. It works really well. And I love how they tie everything together, right? You have your curtains, your wallpaper, you know, the rugs, the furniture, everything works really, really well. Here you have a nice desk. Again, bright, white, very crisp, very clean. Office chair, you got a TV in the corner. And then the bathroom is perfect. You know, Corian floating counter, storage in the bottom, oversized LED mirror, and an oversized shower. And finally, we're gonna show you their studio unit, which is unit 204. This one is cool. It's vibrant, just like the rest of them. And the theme color of this one is? Yellow. Yellow, Ac gold accents, shades of yellow, very vibrant, very happy unit. King size bed, floating nightstands. You got the same pattern of a wall covering, uh, texture custom wall covering, but of course this one is infused with different um, Shades. Shades, exactly. But everything just works, right? It's like yellows, whites. Golds, greens, looks good. Yeah, and guys, this is actually what you want, right? When you stay in Airbnb, what are you looking for? You're looking for a comfortable bed. You're looking for a functional space where you can make a meal. You're looking for an area where you can get some work done. This one has a desk. And then you have a little nook to kick back, maybe make some phone calls. Read. Maybe read a book. Yeah, of course you want closet space. And you just want a cool vibe, right? When you're shoveling, you want to feel, you want to stay at a place that feels different. Funky. Homey. What's that? You want it to feel like home, homey. Exactly. And yeah. you want to feel inspired. You want to feel creative. And when you're staying in these types of homes, this is, this is the feeling you get, right? It prompts creativity. It opens a different chakra in the head, which is... Different perspective. Perspective. Guys, thanks for checking out this video. If you're traveling to Miami anytime soon, the link to this Airbnb will be in the description. Also, let me know what type of videos you guys want to see in the future. As always, thanks for watching.